Through a series of taster sessions and workshops in the different IC regions, we enabled more than 900 SMEs to understand how innovation can apply to various aspects of their business. 31 taster sessions were organized by partners in each IC region, covering innovation in all aspects of the business, from process to products, inspiring external experts and leading SMEs presented techniques and diagnostics to companies. Together with Aditech, we developed a tool to enable the partners to carry out diagnostic assessment with SMEs in the ICE partner regions. The ICE scan will be a fingerprint of the SME and could be used to give the SME good and relevant advice regarding innovation and international cooperation. The scan had three different elements. An interview guideline for the advisor to use when visiting the company, a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet to fill in the relevant statistics, and an output poster document, which was the result of the scan and was used to discuss with the SME the results of the scan. It consists, the scan consisted of an, an official data, such as number of employees, sector, turnover, international expertise, use of technology, etc. A business advisor from the part organization would use the tool when visiting a company to carry out the assessment by using the standardized scan. It was done starting with the ICE SME's own characteristic by asking a range of questions and visiting the premises and meeting other SME staff. In this way, the advisor could make a qualified assessment of the company's needs and wants regarding innovation and international cooperation. After visiting the SMEs, the partner discussed the various SMEs in telecalls and followed up the diagnostics by producing a series of recommendations for the companies, which also involved putting them in touch with relevant contacts in one or more of the ICE partner regions. In total, about 117 SMEs were visited and were taken the scan. Now, these events were designed to bring the clusters together from the four countries involved with a view to introducing them to new thinking uh, from academia, uh, from industry, and some of the more innovative and development of trends in their particular industry cluster. They were attended by a range of businesses and involved essentially the sharing of ideas and looking into uh, future prospects for that industry and new ideas that can be developed by those businesses involved. The Innovative Sector Exchange Project aims to establish cross-border clusters, bringing together businesses and experts from the ICE project areas. Four target sectors were identified and these were agri-food, digital and creative, mechatronics and new materials. 149 SMEs joined the clusters under the guidance of the IC project partners and representatives from educational and research institutes. These support services were free and members were encouraged to develop their business internationally and to work with companies and experts from other European regions. IC project partners have managed the project up until the end of this year, after which cluster leads will have then been identified to fully oversee future activities from 2021 onwards. All activities delivered were funded by the ICE project. During the project, we organized seven major innovation events for the cluster members. During these events, we provided cluster members the opportunity to visit different fairs and discover new innovations all over Europe. We went to the CBIT in Hanover, the Yek World 2019 in France, Hanover Messe in Germany, the Tech Open Air in Berlin, the Anuga in Cologne, Industry Barcelona, and the Horikawa in Amsterdam. An important part of these events were the cluster meetings, during which the companies learned more about the project and, more importantly, got to know each other and their businesses better. Real connections between companies were made, which led to new partnerships. The purpose of the conference was on the one hand to inspire the participants from Tusi region on innovation by sharing interesting and sometimes groundbreaking ideas and on the other hand the attendance of representatives of all four ICE cluster members gave the participants the opportunity to hold a large cross-border network moment and better get to know each other. The first conference was organized on 4 December 2018 in Calais after a short introduction by the Major of Calais, we arranged five inspiring speeches on how to be a successful company of the future. The speeches were presented by renowned international speakers, which attracted many participants to the event. After the conference, we organized an international networking event 
to enable participants to get to know each other and share insights on future proof businesses. The second conference, named Innovation Summit, revolved around the topic celebrating success. A number of global companies were handpicked with a request to pitch about the company innovation processes. Six companies were selected to showcase their innovation stories. The goal of the pitches was to allow the participants to understand how different aspects of innovation are applied by the global innovation champions. To help the audience to make the translation of the processes to their company level, we invited three brilliant academic experts Considering the uncertain situation and possible travel limitations due to COVID, we decided to organize the event fully digital. To avoid a mainstream online webcam meeting, all partners agreed to make the event flashy and appealing for the participants. By applying the novel digital techniques, we managed to host a successful innovation conference and brought a refreshing experience to the audience. One of the other activities within the ICE project uh, program was the engagement with higher education institutions. Uh, in particular, we did a lot of work with How West, which is uh, an appliance, applied science university based in West Flanders. Um, our first engagement was with the Mechatronica cluster, uh, where we took the businesses over that were involved in lighting design and lighting production. And we spent uh, a good few hours with the uh, academics there, helping the businesses to identify ways in which they could move their products forward or perhaps look at new ways of thinking and design. The other uh, engagement we had with How West was on their program called InnoWiz, uh, which looks specifically at bringing new products to the market and prototyping and how best to do that to be cost effective and obviously to make sure that your product can go into production and be as successful as you wish it to be. As a creative entrepreneur, I was able to join the cluster meeting in Lille. The aim was to broaden my horizon and I really enjoyed putting my knowledge to some good use. Uh, meeting other organizations and network opportunities was really inspiring. Being part of the ISC project has not only given me the ability to scale my business, but it's also given me the confidence to offer services that I've seen are working in other regions. 
As part of the ongoing ISC connections, we've built a legacy project called Imagineers International as a working title. And it also feels like we have a real say in the ongoing future. We're really excited to see what can be done moving forward with the ISC. Well, as I say, Rome isn't built in one day and uh, we only started our export program a couple of months ago. So we have a lot of uh, first contacts and uh, we are working towards our first contracts. We went with a lot of members of the City of Engineers to Ghent, Kent and Lille. Now I'm working together with Julien from France and Lee from Kent. Without the eyes, it would have never happened. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you. So what are the main things we learn as a partnership? through implementing the ICE project. Well, firstly, that a sector approach can be helpful, but not always. When we designed the project, we focused on some of the sector strengths of the partner regions. But as the project progressed, we found it was a lot easier for businesses from certain sectors to engage. Secondly, we've learned to be very flexible. We had two main challenges that we had to deal with as we implemented the project. Firstly, the results and impacts of the EU referendum in the UK in 2016. And secondly, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. These things had a big impact upon the availability and capacity of businesses to participate in the project and meant we had to adapt our programme of activity to respond to what businesses were asking. I think we played a key role in keeping good contacts alive between businesses from our different regions. We learned that a lot can change in four years. So we were creative as a partnership in adapting our programme of support to the fast changing context with support, of course, from the Interreg programme. And we also learned that we have to allow plenty of time in an event programme. With international travel and visits to partner regions, to trade shows or centres of excellence, it's always hard to squeeze everything into a one or two day programme. But we found that our businesses really valued opportunities to just talk, meet, and network with their counterparts from the other regions. So building in time to prioritise this was a very important element of organising a successful event. We listened to feedback from companies and adapted and perfected our approach to company pitching during the project. And we've now got a model and a format that the partners and other organisations can continue to use in the future. Final tip, if you're travelling with a group of businesses and your coach gets stranded in the middle of a tunnel in London for several hours, Make sure that it's with a group of food and drink companies so that you've got supplies to keep spirits high and to encourage informal networking in very unusual situations. Mm -hmm.